All right, <clears throat> now we come to the top down. All right, so let's take a look. So we've got the differences between the Air Fiber 24 Classic and the Air Fiber 24 HD. Now, let's take a look here. So first of all, let's take a look at the ports. So we can see here that these things are st still nearly identical, okay? In fact, if I put these guys right like that, the boards are nearly identical. Okay, so here we go, whoops. Let's take a look here. So we've got uh, GPS antenna on board, GPS antenna external. We know that these two chips are different. I'm not gonna peel these. I'd like to peel these off, but because they're customer radios, I don't really wanna do that. But we've got 100 meg gigabit. Those are identical. These chips are actually slightly different. Let me grab my smartphone. Actually, you know what? I've got a new tablet now. Let's try the tablet and see what happens. It's, uh, let's take a look at what the, it's uh, kind of why I got this thing too. Let's see here. Let me look up what these chips are because that's what we do. Okay, so this is a TI. TI space five. Oh, really? Does anybody else feel like tablets are just junk? Yeah, maybe we won't use a tablet. There we go. I, I can't actually find any differences between these two except for the these two chips here, which would be the BIOSes on them, the OS, or the uh, antennas. And oh, and the in, for the GPS and of course the larger antennas. Um, why did my... Uh, I will get this all working, by the way. Technical difficulties. All right, so yeah, no, these things are looking very... I think they are literally identical, except for the antennas being much larger on the HD and the firmware is being slightly different. Unless I could peel these, I can't actually identify if the Invictus chips on them are different, but to me, literally everything on these boards seems nearly identical. I, well, it seems identical. So for all intents and purposes, the, there is no difference between the AF24 and the 24HD, except larger antennas, external GPS, and uh, I guess the bootloader is set up with a uh, specific firmware for this board. Other than that, actually this chip right here looks different. No, it's literally the same. Bruh. So yeah, these boards are identical. There we go. There's really no difference between these two. That's disappointing. But um, now that we've uh, established that mind-blowing event, take a cool look at this. I'm going to zoom this in now. Let me see here. I want to zoom this in so you guys can actually take some cool looks at this. Okay, so this here is actually the receiving chain. Isn't that neat? Come on. Tell me that that's not neat. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's neat. I'm going to get this little red paintbrush. So like, here's our horizontally polarized 24 uh, gigahertz elements. We've got chain one comes down through here to this little mux, or it could be an amplifier. I think these are actually both amplifiers. They must be. These are amps, I'm sure of it. So these are the amps. It comes down here through this little capacitance bridge of some sort or waveguide uh, down to here. And then from here, it comes into this little combiner, which uh, then in turn goes into this radio here. But that's not all. I believe that from here, it actually goes down into these guys. That's really neat, eh? That is so freaking neat. That's neat. Now let's take a look at the other side. So what do we got here? So the brains and everything are right in here, okay? And then we've got, uh, look at that. So this is the transmit. So this is gonna have higher powered amplifiers in it for sure. And these are the amplifiers here. Amplifier, amplifier. Now, you know, I just noticed something very interesting. Interesting. The polarization on these guys actually changes. So now, isn't that interesting? Because interesting. if I understand correctly, this broadcast is, or sorry, this one broadcasts here and is received up here, just like this one broadcasts here and receives here. But look at the chains. Look the way that they're orientated. So that means it must be twisting in the air or something, or maybe, I don't know. See, this is part of RF theory that's just a little wonky with this millimeter wave stuff, right? That is neat. It's me. So it's broadcasting on slant 45, but look at the polarization. Wait a second, I wanna see something here. Am I just idiotic? So if we take this and go like this, this is the way that they'd be looking at each other. God, that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, they're, they're actually out of, these are actually out of phase. They're actually out of sync with each other by about 90 degrees. They're 40, oh, they're all slant 45, but they're off phase by 90 degrees. Yeah. It's a video about what I don't know. Oops, I just sliced my finger open. Let's get this little can open too, just for, you know, the sake of being thorough. These guys are always a little bit of a pain to open. You gotta go, oh, you have to get the little the beads. Once you get all the beads released. There we go. Come on. Oh, you bugger. I hate these cans. Can you please release for me? There we go. All right, so what do we have here? We have got a timing crystal, and it is a 50 megahertz. Interesting. That's probably for the GPS sync, although the GPS sync module has its own little can right here, so actually, no. 
It's probably for the core. I wonder if, can you see everything that's in here? I hope you guys can see this, because maybe some of you guys that are far smarter than me can actually look at these things and tell me what they are. Now we're looking at the, the actual brain box of the unit. That's the brain box right there. All this, this is what makes it work. This is actually like the computer. This is the power supply, and then these are the radios. That's actually the, the ARM processor, apparently. And that's the Invictus chip, which I believe is actually a Coyote chip, I think is the actual, or Coyote or Canyon or something like that is the actual brand name before they relabel it. I don't know, I don't really have much more to say. It's very cool. It's a cool piece of technology. Let me put this uh, can back on. Not that it really matters if it's got a few little dents in it. So, uh, yeah. So that's, that's all she wrote. These little inductors are actually kind of cool to look at, by the way. They're shiny. I love shiny things. Man, those are cool looking, eh? You can actually see the shine off of them. Just think about how these things are actually made in the factory. I don't know. I can't tell the difference between the two. There's like the only difference between these that I can actually see is this and the physical construction with the uh, antennas being much bigger. Obviously the software is different because these things will do higher throughput, but it's a wonder that you can't make the old version talk with the new version. And I'm very curious to see if I'd be able to actually put the firmware that's on the HD onto the regular and see if it'd work. I think I know a way that I can do that. I mean, wait a second here. So technically, I think if I was to swap these two guys here with these two guys here. Oh, there's another one right there. So I'd have to swap these, the memory chips across. One of them's RAM, one's, one of them's a hard drive, by the way. Or are they both RAM? Yeah, they're both RAM. So then this is actually the memory right here. God damn though. Now my brain is kind of ticking away here thinking, hmm. If we were to swap this over, I'm going to have to see if Thomas would be willing to, uh, if we've got any burned out radios that we can just make work temporarily and actually like try to sync an Air Fiber 24 Classic to an Air Fiber 24 HD just by swapping a chip. <sighs> That'd be pretty neat. But anyway, I digress. I hope that this was an entertaining video. I mean, I wasn't very intelligent or making very good commentary, but whatever. <sighs> At least you guys got to see inside of the equipment. Now I've got to package these both back up and then send them to uh, back up to the lab where they can be properly repaired and sent back to their appropriate customers. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed. Ciao. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave your comments in the list below. Oh yeah, join the Patreon because it really helps pay the bills. I mean, these videos do cost money and they can cost a lot of money. Maybe this video wasn't worth much money to you, but uh, the tutorials are, and I've got way more tutorials coming. In fact, I've got uh, a bunch of stuff that I'm working on right now that I think you guys are really gonna like. So anyway, you guys have a great night. Love y'all.